Hello my friends and welcome back to a new video. In this video I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. That means we are going to create a search view and implement it inside our application to search in the items of a lazy column. Let's go. Here I have a list of different programming languages and I have passed it to a composable function. Inside of this composable function, I have a lazy column. And inside of this lazy column, I have these items. And this is another composable function, which is creating the layout of a single item of this lazy column. And I passed the list into this uh, function. And here I have a text and a divider to display them inside the lazy column. And that's it. And now I want to create a search view on the top of the screen. Let me show you again here on the top and then the lazy column. So here I have a column inside of the column. I'm going to create a composable function for the search view. Then below it we will have this lazy column so it will be here search view and that's it here i need two values one uh, for the state of uh, the text of this uh, search view the text that comes from the search view and uh, the text itself so one for a state one for the text equals to remember and uh, mutable state of text field value and here empty string as the default value then down below another value calling it search text equals to text state dot value dot text okay uh, now we are going to pass uh, some uh, parameters that we need inside of this uh, search view then we will create this uh, function uh, down below so we need a state which will be equal to this text state then we need uh, a single sentence uh, as the hint inside of this uh, search bar uh, calling it placeholder you can pass it from here or directly write it inside of the uh, placeholder of the search view so I'm going to write here search here this is a hint to the user then I'm going to pass a modifier equals to the modifier okay let's create this function here add sign uh, composable function uh, search view okay here we are going to click on the parameters and add them one by one inside of the function create parameter placeholder and create parameter modifier you can see all of them here let me pass them to the next line okay now everything is good and we are ready to design the layout so inside of this uh, search bar i just need uh, to use a mm, uh, normal text field let's say 
and uh, let me pass them to the next line and to the next line and to the next line for the value i'm going to pass the state dot value and uh, for the on value change i'm going to uh, use a value here so i have created this variable and now the state dot value will be equal to this value so the text that we are writing inside of this text field will be stored inside of this value and we will send it uh, to the state and uh, this state is this variable text state then uh, we are passing this text state inside of this search text and then we have to pass it here to search in the items of this list to see uh, whether we have uh, this search text inside of this list or not okay let's continue with the design it's done here then after on value changed i'm going to use the modifier uh, fill max width and uh, in the next line a padding to the top or maybe 20 dot dp for all sides then a clip rounded corner shape 30 dot dp and finally a border with 2 uh, dp thickness and uh, maybe the color dot dark gray and uh, again the shape rounded corner with the same value because we want to see this uh, border exactly the same as uh, the shape of the text field itself we are done here with the modifier a comma and placeholder equals to uh, text and inside of this text i'm going to pass the placeholder okay here we have it in the next line uh, the colors text field defaults dot uh, text field colors we have a lot of different parameters here so if we can use this container color to change the color of the container if you want if you don't want you can uh, leave it unchanged so container color equals to color i just want to show you how you can change the color of it uh, but i'm going to use the white and it doesn't have any effect on the layout so uh, because uh, we have already the white color here so we don't need it but i'm going to show you how you can use it max lines equals to one in the next line we want to have a single line uh, it should be true and finally uh, the text the style which will be equal to the text the style and uh, here maybe color uh, 
color dot black and font size maybe 20 dot sp okay everything is done here in the layout so we have created this uh, search view let me show it to you and check it if it's good looking or not okay uh, it's great now let's go to do the filter here in the items i have passed the whole list so after the list i'm going to write dot filter then we have to check if as i said uh, we have the text that the user wrote inside of the list or not so it dot contains then we are passing the uh, search text so simply we are telling that this it is representing the uh, list so we are saying if the list contains the search text or not and here comma a key and i'm going to pass it again which is the list and this it is not this it is return of this block so let me change it to avoid misunderstanding okay so finally the final item after filtration will come here to this item and we are passing it to the column item function and it will be displayed inside of this text let's check it on the emulator to see the final result okay here we have it let me write something for example letter s or i don't know maybe c and you can see all of the uh, materials that we have here and containing letter c will be displaying here and is case sensitive if you are writing capital c it will show you the capital c and if you are writing lowercase it will show you lowercase same for a for s i don't know whatever you want and it's here currently okay to avoid this i'm going to add uh, something more here after this search text i'm going to write uh, ignore case true and now it's not uh, case sensitive let's check it again okay i'm going to write c and you can see all of the uh, items that containing word c are appearing here so kathleen and maybe uh, swift ah, you can see the result okay that was everything about the search view and we learn how to design it and how to implement it in our application and how to filter a list based on the text that the user writes inside of this search view if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you are new here please hit the subscribe button to be aware about new videos don't forget to turn on the bell button as well and in case of any question any suggestion any requests for the new videos write them down below in the uh, comment box and i will be so happy to read and answer them thank you very much have a good day bye bye